Welcome back everyone. For once I'm actually recording this video the day I will release it. So yeah, you will actually see me on the same day. Quite amazing. The Franks. I will do a conquest for Bourbon because it's a part of Aquitaine and I don't want the Franks to continue holding this land. In order to actually be able to do this, we must send in some reinforcements. We will send in the Africans, they're some of my favorites. The Sicilians, of course, they're capable and plentiful. And the core of the empire, the Greeks. They will all sail out and hopefully reach that place in time. Who else could or should we send? Maybe Anatolia. Yeah, maybe the Anatolians can actually provide us with their troops as well. It's another 4,000. So it should hopefully make a small difference. You may march out there, and you may march out there. Oh, good. Very good. Very good indeed. And we will let the Umayyads fight over this piece of land and then we will conquer that as well. None of these things are problematic. Yeah, why not? Good. Oh yeah, of course, they're all going to join in his petty revolt, even though he doesn't even need any reinforcements to do that. It's not a big issue. Let him. It will only make sure that the revolt goes to our favor. Even more converts. These Christians are falling apart very quickly. Huh. Let's deal with that. The twentieth of November. They'll be they'll be there soon enough. See? The Franks have already been crushed. In Kempton, that's over there. We got some high value prisoners. Always good news. While this army can head out towards Kempton to beat the revolt. We'll send them there. Those guys over there can, can't really... These guys over here can't really do anything against us. At least not out there. It's If there's a threat, it's gonna come from here. We should be ready for it. Those 4,000 men, almost 5,000, might mean the difference between defeat and victory. And it's not because the Franks themselves have been beaten that they'll remain so. My cat wants attention. 
How uncommon. Let's separate the Greeks. He's got four levels? Wow. Well, in that case, you go there, you go there, you go there. You will lead the brunt of your army through the center yourself. This siege has also been finished. Yeah, you might wonder why on earth would I actually besiege this? But it makes sense. Why wouldn't I just capture this and just besiege it? It makes sense. Now I got Aquitaine a bit more complete, making it easier to form Aquitaine. But the guy from Burgundy, I already have most of those places. So is it going to be incredibly easy to retake this place? Just this guy can do it, no sweat. And Bourbon itself has been sieged. Very good. Capua is going to be revoked. He's gonna call in everyone too. Oh, good. Geneva converted. So yeah, we're gonna try to push into Francia and retake Gaul, and we're also going to try and retake parts of Hispania. All in our effort to rebuild the glorious Roman Empire. We got a captive, but she's not worth anything. This guy acted dishonorably against me. He's my direct leech as well, and my direct vassal. He's now in open rebellion. Very bad move. Very bad. Hmm. The king of Anatolia, but he's not really the greatest, is he? This is him. He became content. Excellent. The police, very busy. You might hear that more often, there's construction going on at the main road, so now the police and other emergency services have to come through here in order to get things done. This guy is a Catholic, but he's actually Roman. How did he become Roman? He's no longer wearing that silly dress now, is he? Nice. Good. Someone to rule from that place. If you were a bit older, you'd be the one. Uh, younger, sorry. Not older. We need younger people. Oh, you've got very good genes. You may rule from Bourbon. And I will transfer his vassalage to you. Grisson. 
Oh, it belongs to that duchy. I see. And this is the capital of the duchy. It is. Uh huh. So it should be easy. But it's probably not going to be easy. Huh. Still can't get bourbon, not burgundy. But we can drive off those rebels over there and the rebels over here. So that's some good news, and here we'll just wipe out this group. They're probably heading out to fight the Umayyads. Not that it will do them any good, but yeah. Let him rot in jail. He doesn't matter. Over here, we'll just take this. Did we get his wife or something? No, she's not important. Is she a Roman Hellenic? She is. Is he a Roman Hellenic? No, he's a Catholic. I will release her. She doesn't deserve to be in jail. Good. You. You have insulted me for the last time. You will re be replaced by him. And can we create a duchy? We cannot, because the ruler still holds land within it. We can declare war against him, however, and we can take Aquitaine in a single go. And we shall. These places no way have already recovered from their previous wars. We can just easily swoop them up. Aquitaine doesn't stand a chance. He's still walking around over there. There we go. No more revolt. Now it's just occupation. Glorious occupation. Aquitaine is nearly completely ours. Southern Gaul. And then we can push up further north. But first we will go by the coast of Spain. I think it makes more sense since we can more easily reach that place.
Zadar, you are a Croatian. Your son is Roman, though. You, you are a Greek. Your son is Roman, though. Ah, uh, him. He still rules all of those lands personally. You are a Roman, and your firstborn is a Roman. A Norse blood, apparently. Anyway, here it has been properly Romanized. Here it has been properly Romanized. He too is Roman. He's a Greek. All the way. Not much I can do about that yet. He's a Greek. And here I stand to lose this land. He's a Roman, all the way. He's a Roman. The Berber guy. Your son. I shall educate him myself. Just to be on the safe side. If I can turn him Roman, then let let it be so. The goal make everyone a Roman. How is Ledger doing by the way? Our vessels are still on that good spot. Most of our vessels are Roman. Ah, and the king of this place is also still a Greek. For a long line out. Probably the Sicilians too. Yeah, he's a Greek. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, sorry. Still, we did a lot of good things here. We can improve our brothels too. But let's start at the poorest of lands. Here they made a new castle. Good. More troops and money. that place but she no longer has a guardian yeah seems good enough we can't take the important spots just yet oh he's worth 10 bucks Very good. So yeah, folks, since we have the unique opportunity of me asking a question and you actually getting the question tonight, should we focus on Spain or should we focus on Northern Europe first? They're both part of the Roman Empire, or perhaps we should go for Syria now. Oh, these guys. Can't get enough of these on ships. It's only 500 of them. So we should be able to rally some sort of defense.
This will do. They pissed off. Good. Hmm. Even more captives. But he's only selling one at a time, of course. As always. Why am I trying to get him killed? Orvieto, you can now also improve your brothel. Good, he died. I don't remember why he had to die, but he did. Probably he was one of those adventurers who planned an invasion on my ass. But we dealt with it, apparently. Come on, Aquitaine, fall and surrender. place taken, but they haven't surrendered yet. Another place taken, but they have not surrendered yet. Now they will surrender. Good. Very good. Let's hand out the land as we always do. So, the King of Aquitaine no longer has any land in the Duchy of Aquitaine. That means that we now have the Duke of Aquitaine, and soon the entire kingdom. You. You seem good enough. Something special. A bastard, even. You're the guy from Pitou, right? And you took Aquitaine, Bordeaux, which is the capital of this place. Yes. You have Gavelkind? Yes. Then lose it. Eventually. Agen is a part of that land, so we can't change anything with that. We've already attacked the Franks, we've already attacked them. It appears that it is time for our assault on the Spanish. Good, very good. Christians are being driven out. Now we just need an excuse to be able to attack him. The poet can stay for as long as he likes.
him, he can raise 19,000 men. Good, but the invasion of Hispania is for next video. We have, except for two provinces, retaken southern Gaul. Another great accomplishment of our Pontifex Maximus Shorin II before he leaves his lands to Michael the Hunchback. I bid you good night and thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. So, once more, do we focus on Spain, Hispania? Do we focus on Syria? Or do we focus on Gaul? Good night.